Yo, this is Hitano Play, Secret of Evermore. As we were looking for a path to the volcano, we ended up in the swamp. We're now trying to see what the swamp lands can find for us as we try to find a way into the volcano. We can find some new enemies called the Frippos, which are a bit annoying and not as dangerous as the raptors who hit like a truck. These ones are slower, still doing some damage, but at least they are as, as dangerous as those nasty raptors. But be careful, see they can't swing at you. They can still be dangerous, but it doesn't seem to be as dangerous as the ones we just fought. As you can see in the last episode, we also leveled up the heal to level 1, which means that now our healing spells will do much more healing to us, and that's going to be very important in this game to staying alive, because there are times maybe we want to use those items, but items only have limited use of what money you have gathered or have bought. And when you en end up of those, you have to rely on the alchemy spells, and alchemy spells is based upon how much you've used it. The more you use it, the more powerful it gets. So you want to use it as much as you can, heck. If you're even grinding, you get a lot of talents. You should buy the ingredients for different alchemy spells, spam those spells up to get those levels up, and then just keep on doing that. Of course, it can be a bit grindy, so if you're not at least liking grinding, just want to go on the storyline all the time, you can do that too. I mean, it's not like you have to do it, but it's just be really careful. The only thing I want to show you guys for now is to go into the level up and skill level up. As you can see, my horse spirit is now 161. 164 even. My bone crush is 171. And my spider's claw is, uh, what was it, 145. And what do you think about that is that it has a bit to do about your uh, bonus abilities with your, um, with your weapon. And what do you mean? Well, I'll tell you guys as soon as I level up on the weapon skill. Let's check the weapon skill as well for the dog. Just go to the... Uh, check the weapon skill dog. Just go to the stat screen. Go to the other player. And see the dog is 190. So the dog is about to go level 1 or level 2 in the weapon. That's going to be important because you'll see soon why, why it's going to be important. Oh, that was a bit nasty. The swamp is pretty big, and I like there's no really like music in this uh, place. It's just like an ambient swampland place. And these mosquitoes are hard to touch. You know what? We have four of them in sight. Let's just use an alchemy spell. Let's say uh, flash. Flash on all. Three of them at least. I guess mm, three is the maximum targets you can hit. Another Widowmaker. There we go. Try to go up here. Go around here. Pretty far path. Go down here. Oh, let's take care of this Frippo. You really want to kill any enemies you see on site because you need to level up your your uh, your character as well as level up your weapons. It's going to be super important as you progress because if you don't do that, you might actually struggle because there is a boss coming soon that is, many people say it's one of the hardest bosses in the very beginning of the game because you really need not just a lot of healing, but you also need to have your weapons charged up. And I'll show you soon why. I kill this enemy here and you see Sometimes when you kill enemies, you unlock as well hidden paths. Let's see, can I even collect this thing? Come on. There we go. Water. Go on the lily pads, and we open up nectar. But we can't carry more nectar. Well, we can. Let's use nectar on myself. Heal for 120. Collect nectar. And some water. Which is, where, of course, very important. So we can even use the heal spell. Only has four le uses left though. Let's see what was the alchemy requirement for. I think it's root. Was it heal? Was it root and water? I probably am going low on root, so... Not much we can do about that. But I'm thinking about before, uh, until next episode. We're going to do some grinding on my own. Do I some alchemy skills and leveling up my character? So... This we can become stronger. Oh! There's a lot of enemies here. The mosquito and the frippo. Whoa, nice one! Double hits. Another one falls. 
Ow. Dog take care of business. Oh, this one, this one turned hard a bit more. Oh, look at that. The little pad opens up. Let's go up to it. See what we can find. Our enemy, at least. 36. Mm, there's some, there was a... Uh, let's see, do you find some... No. Sometimes you should watch for your dog. If it's sniffing, like, heavily towards the path. Whoa. That was good damage there. If he sniffs heavily to a path, that might mean that he finds some ingredients nearby. Makes it level 9. It's very important to have him leveled up. Because he scales a lot more for levels than you do, because you use weapons, he doesn't get some roots, which is very important. Whoa, whoa, 100 damage! That was a really awesome. Get some clay. Oil. Find some more ingredients, dog? No. He stands still, that probably means there's no ingredients nearby, so... You should always watch where he's sniffing. You can also adjust it in your uh, act field. If you want him to sniff more ingredients, or if you just want him to battle more. In my opinion, having a mix of both is the best. We got some roots now, we can probably use another heal spell, let's just do that. There we go, 56 now, that's pretty good. That's uh, half our health in one heal, that's pretty good. No more than we had to when we started the game, we started with almost 30 health. Oh, look at that, dog attack the level 2. You want to think what does this mean? Well, just wait and watch. Let's to go for some enemies that we can fight. And see what happens to the dog's meter on below his health on the bottom right of your screen. Check now. Check his health now. now. Come on. Attack. He doesn't really seem interested. Well, you can always change that. Let's go to the act. Ah, of course. When he goes up level up, you can see the act level on the right side. You can see 0, 1, 2, 3. Now put it to 2. Now check the button. See, there's, a, there's like a bar coming up. That's his charge attack. When level up on your weapon skill, you can do a charge attack. That attack does a lot more damage. But you also have to charge up. Look now, now. Look at that. 74 on the charged hit. That's him alone doing that. You see the importance here? Yeah. You also want to do that for yourself. Of course, you can miss sometimes as well. Let's see how much damage he's doing in that since Ripple now. Missed again. Come on. Rex. Good doggy. Go. Kill. Murder. 93. Whoa. That's pretty good. Let's go up here. Kill this one, please. Stay. 94. See, now we see the dog is starting to become a real mach killing machine. 87. Of course we want to do it at ourselves though, that's one reason why I want to grind a bit between the next episodes to get ready for this upcoming boss we're gonna have soon. The dog is just a killing machine. And yes, the dog can even go up another level, it can go up to level 2, but of course it takes a bit of time to grind to level 2, but that doesn't really need to worry about that because the dog only has one attack, which is his uh, thing he does right now. 35. And yeah, the dog when he levels up, he scales up so much. So you get a lot of power from those hits. 107, wow. That's the first time we see the dog hit triple digit numbers on a single attack. That's pretty impressive. And the mosquito got hit there. Poor mosquito. 68. Pretty cool. Let's go around. I don't remember where we were. I think this is the place we were before. Oh, 12. Nine damage. Seventy-four. I'm not liking this. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna do the same thing as well, which we of course will. Just take some time. Go to the level screen. My spare is only one seventy-eight. So, in order to go up, you need to kill enemies. Basically, you need to do the killing blow. Of course, it's a bit slower to level up skills. Now I kill the enemy now. It's gonna be one seventy-nine. So I need to kill twenty-one more enemies myself in order for the horn spear here to go up to level two. So now I see the dog just killed the enemy. No upgrade at all. You need to do the killing blow yourself. So what you can of course do is to just press the select button so you can play as a dog. Because then 
It's going to be the character that will do the damage for you. So now, for example, kill the mosquito. Let's see. Does that upgrade though? Yeah, 81. So that that up that is an upgrade. As long as as long as the the one who does the killing blow will, up, will upgrade for his weapon skill. You can also sometimes get up a weapon skill if your other partner does it too, but the rate of uh, gaining um, getting weapon skill up is pretty lower. Okay, enemy over there too, we get an opening path on the right side, which is some reason why we went here. We get a call bid. Gonna be very important, because those summons are really strong. And are at least right now, those call beats are very limited, so don't just waste them like crazy, because in case you need them later on, well, you might just not be able to use them. Still, they're super strong. Just don't waste them like crazy, because for now, until later on, we can get more call beats. But we only have those call beats right now. When you're on empty of them, it will be a long time before we can get more of them. So, be careful. Let's go up here. I need to heal a bit as well. Let's do another heal spell on myself. Get those levels up going. 58, that's basically back to full health. If you go to the um, alchemy tab, you can see the level up here. So heal is now 130. Flash is, fifth, is uh, 0 0.5, that means flash is halfway to level 1. And that means uh, as soon as you get to use it more, it's going to do a lot more damage. So it's going to be important. That was the path we came from. I think it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, this one. Ow! That hurts. I think as well attacking spells level up faster than healing spells because healing you can just spam. Well, attack spells will be uh, has you have uh, limited to what you can hit because you have to hit enemies to get the level up. 84, pretty good. Okay, so whatever you do. Don't go up here unless you're ready for what's going to come, because up here will be a boss battle. So I suggest you stay down here, just do some grinding, get some levels up, level up your heal, get at least level 1, or level 2 technically, on your uh, horn spear. If you can get level 3 as well, that's going to be a lot of grinding, but it's going to be make it even easier. Go ahead and do that if you want to, but it's going to require some time. Where's the uh, thing? You know what? Let's just get flash up. Flash on the mosquito. 18 damage. Some roots, which we need for the healing. They're looking pretty good now, but I don't think we're ready for this upcoming boss battle. Because even though you have to hit this boss, you need to throw ranged attacks on him. And the only one to do that is to use the spear that is charged up. 35. Getting stronger. 190 now, we're almost there. Okay, so now I'll, I'll keep on fighting enemies until we get our spear level up, then I'll be stopping the episode, and then next episode we're gonna go up there and kill that boss. 83. Dog is doing so much damage. It's also a bit of a problem because if he one hit the targets, I won't be able to get so much weapon skill up. The mosquitoes are perfect, we can level up our flash. Sure, we'll go out our ingredients afterwards, but I'm gonna be going back and buy some more ingredients and stuff so we are ready for this upcoming boss battle. More mosquitoes. Hello! Boom! You too? Cool, see ya! Ah. Did we get in a level up for that? No, nothing. It's a bit of a pain, but again. If you're really struggling with this, you can just play as the dog itself and just have the character go attack the enemies. Then the dog won't be attacking. Or you can just put on the act field and go for the more search of items and fighting. So we do it like this, for example. And then we'll go towards the spider here. And it'll be him that will be attacking, not me. The dog is pretty slow. Oh, well, it's pretty good. Is that me or was that him? Let's see, let's just throw another flash on these ones. Let's do both. 
Professional level one. Awesome. Let's kill that spider with uh, the main character. Here we go. Let's go back to him again. Let's check our level now. 193, we're almost there. Let's test out a new Flash now. Flash just got to level 1, that means Flash will do more damage. Let's see if we work in fine. Let's... Oh, whoa, look at that. Three of those little spiders. You know what? Eat a Flash. Level 1. 15 only, so it's not that big of an upgrade, but Flash is kind of weak in the beginning. It's also easy to level up, so if you level up a little bit, it can actually become very powerful. Let's just play the dog again, so that... Uh, my character can go and kill. Is that a pedal that we haven't gone through yet? I think so. Come on, kill it. There we go. I knew it. Even more. Cool. Another one? Cool. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, what happened? There we go. Okay, so... Let's go up here. Oh, another one. Whoa. Let's just switch to a uh, dog now. Let's have the character attack. Just gonna stay here and watch. Can you take the damage if you want to? Just stay here. Come on, go kill, please. Don't miss. There we go. Spiders are really nasty. There we go. Keep attacking them, please, dumb human. They don't take damage. Kill them. Come on, dumb human! Attack! Here we go. Do the one want to? Ah, finally! Now if I'm doing my charge up attack, let's test it out. Just hold down the attack button. And when you have it, just release. 60. Pretty good. So that's basically how you attack. First you need to attack, then hold the attack button, and keep holding it down. And release. Yeah, pretty cool. Need some wax, that's pretty cool. For same reasons, I'm gonna be grinding after this episode now, and I'm going to be grinding until I have level 2 spear. And I'll also be grinding some levels and get some more uh, alchemy level up on the heal and going some more uh, on the alchemy levels. Eat this, dumb frog. Did I miss? I won't miss. 88. Little shortcut there. Can't carry more biscuits. Yeah, that's the thing. We only have six biscuits, so no point you can do about that. Huh. He likes to eat the mosquitoes. That's pretty cool. That's the thing where way we came from, right? Well, this is a different path, actually. It's a bit of cool pass there for some cool items. Some shortcuts as well. Ah, we've already been here. So this is just shortcuts to the road route we came from. Okay, so anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, guys, we're going to go up and fight that big monster, whatever we're going to be, on top of the swamp, which is up here. We're going to go up and fight it. We're going to be stronger, ready to go. And I'll be having some levels up on my characters, on my alchemy level, maybe in level 3 horn spear will do even more damage. We'll see about that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's it for now, so see you guys next time as my story of Secret of Evermore continues. <laughs>